Hey, yo, what's up, everybody? Listen, um, for some strange reason, I've got to post this. Um, so I want you to share it with, with somebody. Somebody needs to hear it. But, you know, there's some things you hope you don't have to post and tell people. And then there's some things you just simply got to you just simply have to say it. Right. So I'm just telling the truth here. And hopefully I'll tell you something that'll help you um, take care of the person that you've hurt. If you've if you've hurt somebody emotionally, right? If you've hurt somebody, if you've damaged your relationship by cheating, doing something, saying something, whatever it is, right? You need to understand something, right? There's a whole lot of people praying for people, for the person that you take advantage of. And if you continue to take advantage of somebody you say you love, then you really don't love them at the end of the day. So I'm gonna give you a few tips here. And there's gonna there's a link either above or below this video. And I want you to click that link because I've, I've got an article um, attached to this video. And you read the article, it'll take you about 90 seconds at best. Read the article because it's going to elaborate just a little bit more on what I'm saying. But check this out. You need to understand that when you hurt somebody emotionally, they bleed. And you can't expect somebody you've hurt to get over the pain you've caused quickly. One of the reasons you do that is you simply don't want to deal with the pain you've caused. You don't want to deal with the reality of the pain you've caused. You say, well, they should be over that by now. Why you keep bringing that up? You know, I told you I want to move on. And you, you're saying stuff like that. And they're, and they, they're still feeling some kind of weight. And you are, you pretending that you have the right to, um, just kind of, just kind of evade the responsibility of the things you cause as though, as though, watch this, as though when somebody is wounded, there is no bandaging and healing process. You know, when you hurt somebody and you say you love them, you automatically understand that that pain you've caused is really just like a real wound. When somebody's cut, you have to take care of the wound. You have to bandage it up. And watch this. Just because you bandage it the first time doesn't mean you don't have to revisit the wound. Because if you really understand taking care of wounds and cuts where you've been hurt and bleeding, you know that you've got to change that bandage. And you've got to do it daily. You've got to do it weekly. You've got to do it monthly. And you've got to do it until the wound is completely healed. So all this stuff about you rushing somebody to get over something that you've caused, cut it out. Click the link above this video or below this video let me help you get this right. Like I said, some people you wish you wouldn't have to say things to, but some people simply take life for granted. If you love them, I'll teach you how to take care of wound when, you, when you're the one that emotionally cut them. Take care.